this school on Wednesday the 18th, I think, should be. Yep, of May 2022. So, I had AS, proper AS, moving image. Um, somehow, I wasn't worried about it, because I try not to be worried about it, because I don't care, but even though I don't care, I'm still worried about it, um, which is probably going to happen tomorrow, uh, but I actually wasn't worried at all, which was surprising, but it didn't go too good, so moving image exams are only four questions. Question one was identify three parts of pure cinema and I knew that obviously one of them was the fact that like Hitchcock tries to have as little dialogue as possible so if there's anything that he can do without dialogue he will do it without dialogue. <clears throat> so like in a scene where a character is sad, instead of having them say, I'm sad, I'll show them crying. And stuff like that. Um, you know, be, show don't tell, basically. Um, but I, I didn't write that down until like the very end of the exam. Question two was analysing a clip from, I think, Battlestar Galactica. <clears throat> So the clip was this guy is celebrating like his birthday or whatever and they're next to like a rack of missiles and they're, the missiles are held together by these straps but the strap on one is about to break and it does so it's hanging off the rack and then eventually it, it falls off and goes straight at the guy and explodes. And you have to like write a whole like essay on how, well, not not really an essay, but just a big paragraph. Um, on how the director uses sound, camera technique, and editing, I think, to create a uh, mood of suspense, or just you know generate suspense. Question three was um, writing about <clears throat> free visual methods that film noir uses to make the world of the film seem doomed. Um, and I wrote about like the, the lighting, it's always dark, high angles, and something else, I don't remember what the third thing was, ever it was. And then question four was a clip from a horror movie. I think it stars Ellen Page, I don't know. <clears throat> could be Ellen Page, could be Jennifer Garner, could be Jennifer Connelly. Even though those three look nothing alike, I don't know. But it was... The, the clip was that... Uh, like she hears a sound and she walks to the bathroom, which is where the sound came from, and she looks at the bathtub, which has like a a sheet over it. It's, it's not a shower, it's a bathtub. Uh, and she looks at the sheet and eventually like a face pops out of the sheet. And you have to write about how the same three things from question two are used to create uh, fear. And anxiety but the <laughs> I was actually quite scared the the like continue watching it because I knew it was like I, I knew that it was right next to a jump scare and I I didn't want to like embarrass myself but it was fine I jumped a bit but not I don't think it was noticeable if you know what I mean Um, yeah. And then I, I finally got around to finishing question one. The other two things I wrote about for that were 180 degree rule where 
like in a dialogue scene, the camera shouldn't go more than 180 degrees across from where it is, you know what I mean? And I forget what the first thing was. So it started at, it was supposed to start at half nine, but it didn't start till say 25 to 10, so only five minutes from when it was supposed to start. It's supposed to end at, at 11. It ended at 21 to 12 because, because of the stuff that's going on with me booking my theory test. I am now forced on the extra time. Um, and that extra time was only supposed to last 15 minutes. But I actually got uh, 30 minutes and then the extra 9 minutes came from the fact that I had a bit of trouble logging in um, for about 3 minutes. But they've expanded that to uh, 9 minutes somehow. I don't know how, I don't know the math on that but whatever. Uh, anyway, final review blind spot. Uh, the show was cringe. I posted on my story like on Monday because I, there was a bit where um you know they they were looking for these terrorists. I was like, guys, I found the terrorists because there's this video of the mannequin challenge. And you can see free cars in, in the video. And if you look at the license plates and you combine them, it gives you a code and that code tells you where the terrorists are. That doesn't make any sense. I think the writers just really wanted to put in a meme. But the thing is that like that was written in twenty sixteen, probably should have been filmed twenty sixteen when the mannequin challenge was the thing you know um but that episode was one of the last episodes of the season so it aired in like easter 2017 so it was very old at that point even if it was relevant at the time it would still be cringe but other than that it is a fantastic show. The best episode is the one where Patterson goes into a coma. Great episode. Playing okay it is. The French Dispatch Universally Plot. Actually mixed ratings. Uh directed by Wes Anderson. I watched all the Disney Plus. <clears throat> Bill Murray, Tilda Swin, Timothy Chalamet, Adrian, Brody, Owen Wilson, Lassie Doe. Francis McDermott, Jeffrey Wright, Benicio Del Toro, Saoirse Ronan, Jason, Jason Schwartzman, Willem Dafoe, Henry Winkler, Tony Revolori, Edward Norton, Angelica Houston, Elizabeth Moss, Christoph Waltz, Rupert Friend, Kate Winslet, I don't know if she is in the movie because I think she does have an iconic face but I don't recognise it. Anyway, Lee Schreiber. Mm, there were times where I liked it, but for the most part, no. The sweater was 7 past 7 p.m. Uh, Nicola, you do realize that joining NATO doesn't make you independent? Breaking, Costco announces plans to raise food court hot dog prices by $1 due to inflation. Collapse in a minute. It's over. My four-year-old just FaceTimed to ask what I'm doing to help the people in Buffalo. And why did the bad man do this? Absolutely gone. This cannot be his normal. It's time to ban assault weapons and gun violence. That's just not how it works. What you, sh what you, what you should tell your four-year-old is... Now, you need to... I'm going to say it in a mature way but you need to obviously dumb it down and also not say it in a more light way than I'm about to say it but 
the world is an evil place, basically. I don't know what's happened in Buffalo, but since the South's talking about guns, the thing is that in most cases, banning guns would not work because I'm. Let's just. I don't know what's happening in Buffalo. Said I'm just going to assume that, that there's been a genocide in Buffalo, right? So the guy. Right, I'm just going to say me. I'm planning on committing a genocide. I'm, I need, I'm going to need a gun for that. But oh crap. Guns are a bit mad. I can't just walk into a gun shop and buy one anymore. Even though you can never do that. That's not how it works. Dumbass. So, oh, what, what am I going to do? I'm going to have to find a black market dealer. It's like, the way that you pro-abortionists say that banning abortion doesn't work. Because we'll just have to go to black market abortion places and like that. Not, not black market, maybe, but you know what I mean. The exact same thing can be said about guns. My 14-month-old daughter just sent me a Morse code telegram for the old gramophone and said, Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my ragtime gal. Send you this by wire. Swalswell's well as a liar. She's been grinding for bad language. <laughs> Another episode of Celtic Mist, the horror of the Orkney Isles, the Knuckle of E. We've seen the Pekka Marks' balls, but we have we seen his hat collection. You really want to see that? Here's some of them. I have a lot more, but their daughter around the around the house. What, what mark were, were you just at, Marcus? The range? Hold on. Things. Try 600 at orange. I have a 528. 600 at orange. Oh, this might be it. Skadoosh! <laughs> Let's go! We can playing Fortnite Marcus I'm not I'm I'm not saying that as a joke. Any battle royale game doesn't matter how different they do it, to me it's just Fortnite. They're all they're all terrible. Marcus you need to stop playing Fortnite. Picked up this guy Hitchhiking says he's famous. Oh my god Really got out of jail. <laughs> what are your thoughts on him overall? His ability to be a crapster is hilarious to me. As a troll, he's god tier. As a person, to be fair, my opinion formed on formed from headlines, most likely not an accurate opinion. My reaction to Marcus playing Fortnite. Cringe. <laughs> I was hoping to be the one with the uh, GTA guitar hands, but uh, no. Time. How, try, make America great again, man. Yes, man. I think I said this in yesterday's video, but yeah, friendly bunch. And and I'm gonna continue repeating myself because I hate doing it, but I feel like it's necessary in this case. But instead of saying something and then repeating myself, I'm just going to repeat myself. So, like, for example, in this case, uh, haha, these guys are so easily fooled. Anytime he says that again or implies it, anything like that, I'm just going to say friendly bunch instead of explaining what I mean. Because it should be obvious what I mean at this point. One of the best days of my life. Back in again. That's yes. Come on, 2020. Donald, we want Donald over here. The whole thing isn't real. Donald's on it. Best days of my life. Come on, 2020. Donald, we want Donald over here. The whole thing isn't real. I have no idea what he means by that. Donald's on it. Best days of my life. Come on, 2020. Donald, we want Donald over here. The whole thing isn't real.
Oh, we love Donald's our next prime minister. I didn't hear that one. I didn't hear that. This whole family believed me, all because of some stupid hat. We want Donald Trump. We want Donald Trump. Yes. We want. Friendly bunch. Donald Trump, we want Donald Trump. They were completely clueless to what I was doing. I had all these people on strings. But I wanted to see if these Trump supporters could... See, that ad just looks like... Whoops, I nearly dropped my phone there. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing at that old pixel action. Um, that to me just looks like a party. It's not even like a... a well, I guess you wouldn't call it a protest because they're pro-Trump, but... You know, it looks more like a party than a rally. Because all they're doing... I'm going to move here, so... Um, all they're doing is singing songs and, and dancing and all. So... I mean, as I said, friendly bunch. How? So I asked them to describe Donald Trump in three words. Describe Trump in three words. Magic. That's the perfect three. Three words. Yeah. Make America great again. Make America great again. My favorite three words. I love that. God's man for the time we're living in. That's a great three words. That's a great three words. I then at the America great again. My favorite three words. I love that. God's man for the time we're living in. That's a great. Right. If. Like right, this, this video predates the. When I met you in the summer, I mean by four years, but so he's not making fun of that. He's not talking about that when he incorrectly subtitled her. And it is obvious that she said for the times we're living in. So what the hell is the point in that? Three words. That's a great three words. I then had the displeasure of meeting this guy who was just a straight up racist. I said work for Trump. Okay, okay, yeah. this guy's walking a little bit. Walk we're, away. We're, go we're going for it. Walk away, what do you mean? Walk. I didn't even hear what he said. The way we're blacks have to be walked away because you're mentally slave. What he said is honestly disgusting. Okay, I think what he said, that last bit there, was use our mentally use our mentally slaves. I don't know what that means, but I'm going to assume that what he means is that he's... And Kanye West and Candace Owens have said this as well, who are two black people. So if this guy is such a racist, then those two are racists against their own race. But I think what he means is that... Because of the media, a bunch of black people like you, Nico, have this mentality that you are oppressed... That Britain is a racist country and the, the government just absolutely hates you because you're a race. The government doesn't hate you because you're a race. The government hates you because the government hates everyone that isn't the government. Thing. And if I'm being real with you guys, I'm not comfortable putting it all up on YouTube. But if you guys really want to see it, go follow me on Twitter because I put his full statement there. But now it's time for the... Re but if you guys really want to see it, go follow me on wasn't sure if I should tweet this, but I uh, pretended to be a Trump supporter the other day and I had to drop the character because of what this guy said. Uh, would you look at that? He's very bad on Twitter. Oh, 20 million views. This is mental. No, it's not really because your videos always get to like 20 million views. Yeah, I'm not going all the way back to 2018 with the amount he posts on Twitter, Christ's sake. On Twitter, because I put his full statement there. But now it's time for the real fun to begin. Let the trolling commence! Oh my gosh, I'm waving the flag! We love Donald Trump. We love Donald Trump. He ain't a racist. He ain't a racist. He's a truth teller. Come on, mate. Don't take the f son. I'm not, man. Yeah. I love the UK. What do you mean? Okay, yeah. yeah, okay, yeah. What are you talking about? I'm not taking the mic. Okay, yeah. And you can tell that. <laughs> yeah, you can tell that 60% of immigrants want to take our jobs. Yeah. Yeah, well, I just made. Why are you playing hellbilly music? Are you trying to say that all Trump supporters are hellbillies? Now, please correct me if I'm reaching here, but that's what it seems like to me. And as I said yesterday, most people voted for Trump because he's the one that lowered taxes the most. He is possibly the person who has had the lowest 
you know, person that's lower the taxes the most. And that's partly because of him, and it's partly because Obama had them so high. That up. So. They saw me as a journalist who really cared for what they said, and I wasn't going to take advantage of that. Exposing their pedophilias and all that. And then I know this is good. So I realized realize that it's subjected, set down. Uh, oh, Tom, Tom, me. Yeah. These guys have no idea. I'm not even legit. It's great. And they call us racist. Trump from yeah. Racist. No, you're not. No, you are racist, to be fair. They were all wafflers. I needed to speak to someone who. But hi. Actually, talk sense. And then I found this dog. Hey, man. If you want people to talk sense, you don't don't come up and like a prick to them. Don't don't be a prankster for Christ's sake. It is possibly the if it weren't for like PNG tutors and anything that has popped up since 2016, your kind of content would be the most hated content on YouTube. Your content is this is the same type as killing my best friend prank. Uh, so Flo Antonio, Roman Atwood, how to prank it up, prank for prank, just pranks in general. Some of those guys aren't hated, but you got my point. And I'm not trying to like do guilt by association, but if you want people to talk sense, do you have a civilized discussion? I would be willing to have a civilized discussion with you, and I'm talking a proper civilized discussion, not me trying to, you know, be not me being civil, and you just be like, yeah, okay, just trying to prank me, in air quotes. I'm talking a genuine discussion, and I would, I would imagine that would be. I defend my I defend Trump supporters, EDL and all like that with some thought you know, I wouldn't say well thought out arguments, but thought out arguments and you would basically just go, But you're racist Hi Emma Because you support Trump. I didn't say that. I don't support Trump. I mean in twenty eighteen I did support Trump, but not anymore. Not since twenty nineteen. But let's if we had the discussion in 2018, they'd be like, okay, yeah, I support Trump, but how does that make me a racist? Because Trump's a racist. But how is Trump a racist? And then you, you would make up something like, uh, oppressing, you would say he's oppressing black people. How is he oppressing black people? And then, I don't even know what he would say at that point. And what's good? Do you want to know what this dog said? He said, like the video right now or he'll eat your parents tonight. What's good, bro? I've never seen a man look so much like... Do it, pussy. He's dog in my life. Look at this stallion. This is a lion right here. I then met these two geezers who really seem to love Trump. These guys respect him. You guys respect Trump. Oh, hey, Trump's are blowing that. That is your Thank you. He was a good person. Through our free speech. Yeah. Trump is okay, don't, don't touch me like that, but keep going. We want what Trump yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah. A country that we look after. A country that we look after. And a country that is purely for the people that started it. That's what we want. That's what we want. I'm just going to rewind here. Because it said racist art. I'm going to... See what he said that was racist. I'm gonna put the speaker right up in my ear. Okay, don't, don't touch me like that, but keep going. What, what Trump yeah, wants. Yeah, yeah. A country that we look after. A country that we look after. And a country that is purely for the people that started it. That's what we want. Okay, so what what the man said was that Trump is for a country, for the people that started it, but America was built by immigrants, so. What that and I know that he's talking. He's he's talking about Americans, not not necessarily white people, but Americans. But you know, this America was built by immigrants. No, no denying that. So how is that racist, Nico? That's what we want, bro. Great man, very nice. Yes, it's time. 
the this what the guy said basically was just make America great again. That does not mean kick out all the black people or kill all the black people or anything like that. You know, America is great because of what people like Martin Luther King did. But with what's going on right now with the mass racism from the far left, where they say that colour blindness is racist. You know, the, the idea that race shouldn't play a factor into anything whatsoever. Apparently that is racist. So you must recognise that black people are black, even if that has nothing... Even if the race has nothing to do with the topic, say... Trump supporter. The the left wing would say that if that everyone would say that Candace Owens is a black Trump supporter. The left wing do it because they they recognize race because they think it's not racist to to do that, to treat black people and white people and everyone else differently. And the right wing does it because they're trying to show that there are a lot of black people that support Trump because Trump isn't racist. Together! Clap. No, not today, man! Clap! clap. Say Let's Trump. clap! Say this guy was calling me fake news just because I didn't hug. No, not today, man! Clap! Say Let's Trump. clap! Say Trump. Say this guy was calling me fake news just because... I couldn't hear him say fake news. I didn't hug him. I realized these people use this technique whenever they felt threatened. Oh no! Just, oh, he's mad that I wouldn't hug him. Okay, I, I can't hear that. He's gone away. He's gone away because I wouldn't hug him. So I thought I'd go and try the fake news technique myself. These guys are fake Trump supporters. They're what? You're fake Trump supporters. No, I'm not Trump. Your hair, your hair, no. And it worked instantly. Do not try and pull a Sasha Baron Cohen because if you try and pull, pull a Sasha Baron Cohen and I'll, I'll show a clip for example of what I'm talking about I will go ballistic. About doctors. Does they have the right to end old people's lives? That's euthanasia. Why is it the responsibility of the euthanasia for killing someone else? Surely... It's between that patient and the doctor. I mean, euthanasia is the term that's used when you are killing. It's a nice word for killing. Well, whatever. You were saying that it's mainly Asian youths. That no, is... no, 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 no. Because you think that they're responsible for this. You don't also agree with Who's him. Who's responsible for it? No. The euthanasia. I think we're getting confused here. Euthanasia comes from the Greek word for death. And that just goes on because, you know, that's just how Sasha Baron Cohen works. Whether it be Ali G, Bruno, Borat, doesn't matter. But apparently Sasha does this because he wants to point out the, the hypocrisies of people. So I, I, I'm trying to imagine him talking to a homophobic person. Or not, not even a homophobic person. Someone who is straight but supports gay rights and any one of his characters, doesn't matter who it is, just going, so you're gay, no I'm straight, so you're gay, no I'm straight, over and over again and basically he wants to get these people to admit that they're hypocrites, so... If he's interviewing a straight person and going, you're gay, over and over again, are they eventually going to say, actually, yeah, you're right? I don't understand how that works. But I feel like that's what Nico's trying to do. Supporters. They're what? You're fake Trump supporters. No, I'm not Trump. Your hair, your hair, no. 
and it worked instantly. These guys got so triggered that I had the audacity to call them fake. Oh, no. I love Trump. No, you don't. You're fake supporters of Trump. No. That's what you I are. I love Trump. No, you're fake. You're fake. And don't think I don't see through you. You're both playing around. You're both trolling. No, I see through I'm both of you. Trolling. You're fake. What do you support? Tell me a Trump. You better be at a 2019 version from when it was announced that Donald Trump is actually a communist because Donald Trump is a communist. In the summer of 2019, he announced that he is considering employing social credit in America, which is a authoritarian, communist, dystopian idea invented by the Chinese government as a very extreme way of controlling them. Simply put, you should watch Black Mirror Season 3, Episode 1, Nosedive. That is what social credit is, so if I do something that the government considers out of the ordinary, they will redact points off me. So, say I used a bad word, like cunt, they would take 10 points off me, and if I got, if my points were low, they would take away privileges, like TV. That's, that's one of the things that China does. If you're below, like, 300 points, you they remove your TV. Trump won't want to implement that. He's a communist. And I've tried telling this to McKnight multiple times. Back when I first started from Paul, and then I was considering sending a video of Carl talking about the same thing to him when I was playing to meet her uh, legend, but I uh, decided not to. But my point is, Trump is a communist, which means he's on your side. So, what is your opinion of him now? And uh, just so you know, before you make up your your opinion on Trump now, keep in mind that if you disagree with him, I will call you a Nazi. Ironically. Party right now. I support fake, fake, fake waffle. You're waffle, man. Yeah, I answer the question. It's trade policy. How dare you fake this? How dare you? This is one of the most disgusting things I've seen in my life. I'm not fake. This is fake. This is fake. This is fake. This is fake. Come on, man. Let's go. So you're telling me you wouldn't get pissed off if I went to you and said, uh, "So you're a fan of whatever football, uh, like team you're a fan of? I, I don't know. Say Man United." So you're a fan of Man United, Nico? Yeah. Fake. You don't like Man United. Name one player Man United. Uh, person, I don't know anyone Man United. Wrong. He actually plays for Liverpool. You would get pissed off. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Run, 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 run. I will ah! like, ah! put this on the internet and I will sue you, guys. What are you going to do, my friend? I blurred your face, but you're still in the video. You legally can't sue me. Words started getting around that I wasn't... Yeah, but he was under the assumption that you wouldn't blur his face, which, that's fair enough. Like, it is fine if you, if you blur the face, but you cannot get pissed off if... They get pissed off at you filming them. I mean, you you are an attention whore. But I guarantee you, if I went up to you trying to film you while you're shopping or whatever, you be like, hey, get that camera out of my face, bro. I didn't say it, bro because he's black. I said it because he's English. I'm trying to, I'm trying to imitate his British dialect. And one person tried to call me out on it. That's, you, isn't it. That's not me. That's you, isn't it? That's not me, man. He was showing me a video from when I went undercover at the EDL. I mean, at this point, it's game over. That's you. Isn't I just it? want to know where you That's found you, that. You, isn't it? Where'd you find that? You, Where'd you me. find that, though? Where'd you find that, though? Well, clearly, isn't it? I don't think that's me at all. I think that is you. Um, he looks English. I am American. Surprisingly, the slightly convinced him as he then decided to review my voice to see if it was me in the video. Really? Yes, I am. Yes. Oh, okay, there we go, because that's not my voice. Not hard, he doesn't shut his mouth at all. Not, not that I can say anything. He's got his kids on it as well, oh my gosh. 
and it all came down to this. They literally had video evidence that I was trolling. Surely they were going to expose me for what I truly was. He's an innocent man. Thank you. You're, you're you think I'm about to say friendly bunch at this point? But no, this guy's just stupid. Or maybe he is justifiably paranoid and I'm, 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 I wasn't trying to like play a trick on you or anything. I just genuinely just thought of that right now. But what if he thinks, yeah, this guy's definitely the same. I just don't want to say it because he's black and... I don't want to be labelled a racist because, you know, you, you would have said. It, I, I bet you if this guy doubled down was like, yeah, that's definitely you. You'd be like, oh, you just said that because we're both black? So maybe that's why he didn't say it. Maybe he, he knows that that is you, but he just doesn't want to say it because you will call him racist. Sorry, you're sorry. I'm sorry. Of course they didn't. I don't know how, but I got away with it. He even apologized to me. No worries, man. No worries. It's not me. Now they didn't think it was me. I then asked to see the video again to really rub salt in the wounds. This man went undercover. That is such an idiot move. I can't believe. That's really f That's really f That is messed up, but that's not me. No. I was f anyone that does that. All the anger was clearly directed towards me, so I decided to finesse my way out by sacrificing George. If you put me on that, I will f*** you up big time. And I'll do the same, I'll mess this guy up, you think I care for this guy? Although sacrificing George seemed like it was working, they all turned on me again straight after. I'm not the media, I'm Trump supporters UK! Say, address me! But this time they had a new leader, this schmuck. Viral for doing the BMP thing. Oh, this guy is- Diversity event. Of insults. Also, what do you mean BMP? If he went to the BMP, then uh, my entire argument would have been straight out the window because the BMP are actually undeniably racist. The EDL aren't. And he went to the EDL. Well, Jesus, man, Jesus. On you right now. Like, what do you mean? I'm not. You, you said yourself, you apologized to me, man. Don't take that back now. Don't use the term like undercover because that makes it sound cool. That makes it sound like he's a police officer. Like the Americans or something. I didn't like that show, but whatever. But this guy is nothing has nothing on. I I would rather watch the entirety of the Americans than watch this guy. And as I said, I didn't like that show. Schmuck had reached a new low. He started signaling for the police. Okay, this guy's a snitch right here. This guy's a snitch. This guy's trying to get me in trouble. It was now my sole aim to get rid of this schmuck. I would not rest until he was gone. The police then came over and surprise, surprise, he started crying to them as well. He's talking to this guy who's drunk, but he won't talk to someone like myself. I'm, I'm talking to you right now, okay, man. Okay, so I'm what do you, right you believe now. in yourself? You tell me. What do you think Trump Trump reporters, UK. Okay, I'm here. Look at my hat. I love Donald Trump. What is, I, it? What is it? What is it? That's we love Trump. Trump. We love Trump. Yes, thank you, man. Thank you. I had my opportunity to get rid of him, and I started shouting fake news to see if anyone would back me. Fake news! Fake news! This guy's fake news! Fake news! And it worked. The people had no idea they were turning on one of Friendly bunch. their own. I mean, just look how triggered this schmuck got. This is what happens when you cross me. One of the guys was literally getting mad, telling him not to touch him. What are you? Alright, you're already big enough for your bits, but don't. Don't go out and like, oh, this guy doesn't like me. Guys, get him. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Go, 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 go. But thankfully, we chased them away thanks to my friends here. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Trump is welcome. My guy right here. My guy right here. This guy. You have three songs. Gangster's Paradise, which both of us shouldn't be allowed to use, but like, surprisingly Nailer of, of my videos part 6 or 7 have been taken down for copyright so thank you YouTube for being considerate unlike other apps <clears throat> Instagram then you also have the Hellbilly music and something else I just don't remember it right now right here was literally my brother nothing would tear us apart I want to see you edit a movie. Like, 
let's take something along the lines of Euphoria. I feel like the in a really emotional scene. I'm just gonna say my trap's death. Uh, I didn't put a spoiler warning there because that episode aired at the end of February. We're nearly at the end of May. But uh, what song would you use in that scene? I don't remember what song they used for it, if any, but I feel like you would use something like Gangster's Paradise. Oh, this this child is about to get shot. Let me let me put on some uh, my crappy. Well, Gangster's Paradise is all right. Let me, let me put on some rap music. Yeah, I know you. Yeah. Turns out it wasn't my guy for long, as he turned on me in a split second. You know me. That's not me. He suddenly decided that he recognized me from the EDL video as well, and at this point, it all went mad. People. I don't know why that guy is pointing like Phoenix Wright, but you are an imposter. Forcing me to explain myself because I support Trump. I think you're a fake, huh? I'm not a fake. I'd never fake anything. Somehow this explanation wasn't good enough for this man. So just like the other schmuck, he started crying to the police. Diversity of insults. So far, you're like this guy. One guy actually tried to help me and get me out of the situation, and I was told I could stay on one condition. Have you agreed okay. to stop doing that? Can you stay? Oh, cool, cool, shit. Yeah, yeah. Are you agreeing to stop doing that? No. Well, why would you want to wait here? <laughs> Now, I do think that the guys here are calling for the police, which is not all of them. It, it seems to be a select few. But the, the ones that they do, they are a bunch of pussies, which is just a, a shame. But if you do not agree to these terms, or if you do agree to these terms and you end up breaking them, then they should have every right to force you out of that march. I mean, I had no reason to stay. If I wasn't going to troll these people, what would I do? So I left, and as we were walking out, my best friend Dylan appeared. We've been told to go. We've been told to leave. What's good, man? Oi, 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 oi. Oi, this is Dylan. Dylan was in the last EDL video, and he sent me so many threats. It's unreal. Oi, 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 oi. Oi, this is Dylan. Dylan was in the last EDL video and he sent me so many threats, it's unreal. If I'm honest, I was expecting him to straight up kill me on the spot. This is Dylan. So I, I just want to rewind it and see if Dylan touched Nico or Nico touched Dylan. Turns out Dylan touched Nico. But to be fair, <laughs> Nico is going right up to Dylan going, Oi, 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 it's Dylan. Like if someone did that to me, then I would... Punch them. Nah, but I would. I would feel uncomfortable. Hey! We got Dylan! But when I was there, smiling in his face, he literally started telling the police to take me away when I'd done nothing wrong. We got Dylan! Get out of his face! You, you're the one who, You've just come to my face, my. I don't know. I, I can't tell who actually went up to whose face first, but if it was you, then. Dylan does have every right to get the police over to get you to back off because he doesn't feel comfortable and you've just invaded his personal space. But that, don't, that only goes if you actually were the one that went up to his face first. Friend, you just come. Hey, okay, okay. You know where I live. He knows where I live. Okay, okay, okay. Nice to see you, Dylan. I'm not in his face. He walked to me. He walked to me. What are you talking about? He walked to me. You know where I live, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was going anyway. The place I was going was a high class exclusive red carpet Trump event. And I had some very important business to attend to. I mean, I had to make my puppet sing for me. Ah, uh, yes, that was the first song, the Bella Chai. Or, as I call it, the Cuban anthem. One more time. And I say we go. Then we left. 
I had no reason to keep my hat, so I threw it. And there the hat lay, never to be seen again. And that is the video, guys. I really need to stop risking my life for YouTube. But today, I am MJ. I'm just going to see if this has anything to do with the previous three videos that were covered. If not, then I'm going to go on to the next thing. Work human. Find out about the single most powerful way for your team to recognize I'm Nicole Milana and I just want to say hello to all the 10 year old kids hating on me. These kids literally want me to die. Okay, that's a uh, KSI won't ball fight. Um, so. Yeah, you shouldn't be ruining careers for a prank. Like, that is more evil than everything you've done in the previous three videos combined. You genuinely are an evil bastard. <laughs> Let me just make sure that this wasn't uploaded on April Fool's Day. This is the moment I ruined Johnny Kerry. 12th of October 2018. I hope to God that that is actually clickbait and that he didn't ruin that, that guy's career. These YouTubers putting kids' lives in danger. Hmm. I wonder who else is doing that. You. Don't try and act like a, a white knight. Oh, I care about the kids. Because I, you know, I killed all of them. Coming up on Nicole Milano. I'm pretty sure that was Tommy Robinson in the thumbnail. Yeah, that, that looks like him to me. Tommy Robinson isn't racist. He provide evidence of Tommy Robinson being racist without mentioning the EDL. Sorry, I just had a pull my nose. That's a beautiful, beautiful wolf. Oh, you Don't try to fight me. Go, go, go. Hello, mate. It's time to put everything on the line. Let's go! Breaking news, an old man has currently positioned himself in the center of a staircase, seeming to just be pranking people. Help me! Help me! Help! Listen! Oh! Help! Please! Hey, come on, man, that's the way it is. No, I'm all good. I'm all good. You keep walking. That's the way we should go. The public seemed to be worried for his safety, so we went down and had an interview with him. Hey. I, I recognize this before I, I even started part six, but you are one of those people who masquerades, try, sometimes tries to masquerade their pranks as social experiments. Oh, will, will these guys uh, help an old man? No. Well, you're a horrible being. Or maybe this offer your prank because that is the worst disguise I've ever seen. Now this guy looks like if you watched Deadpool the night before and begged your mum to recreate his face and she only did it just to she up. I'm here to get the attention I so desperately desire. I may be in a wheelchair, oh my god, I may be in a wheelchair. But don't worry, I have this situation completely under control. I'm fine. Uh oh. There's no one want to help me. I don't have this situation under control. I'm panicking. Ah! 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 Again? I need you to buy NDL merch. This is beginning to seem quite ableist. In the video you're about to see, this old man's life will be put in extreme danger. But to tell you why, I need to tell you about the person behind the mask. My name's Nick. Oh wow, it's uh, a fourth song. It's Gangster's Paradise, but it's played on a piano instead of whatever it's originally played on. Probably some sort of synthesizer. I get that it's still a piano, but you, you know what I mean. It's it's just it's pissing me off because it reminds me of Succession. Malana and a group called the English Defence League literally want me dead because I keep. 
But Tommy Robinson no longer associates with the ADL. Tommy isn't racist and neither is the ADL. So what are you on about? Trolling them. I trolled them at marches. Taking our roses, they're taking the lot. And they took your teeth as well. Yeah, they did. They sent me many, many death threats, so I parodied their name, mocking their movement. I, I uh, I probably should have mentioned this in part one, when that woman was talking about how the Muslims stole her teeth. Uh, I thought your side believed all women. Controlled the founder of the whole organization who had no idea who I was, telling him to promote my parody movement, the Nico Defense. Tommy Robinson isn't racist and is no longer a member of the EDL. The EDL isn't even racist. Anyway. Come on, tell him. Tell him about the NDL. About the NDL, yeah. Join the NDL. Yes, come on, mate. Come on. I love it. I love it. This literally went everywhere. Articles were written by multiple different media outlets. And now it's safe to say Tommy Robinson and his followers know exactly who I am. So I'm thinking it would be perfect if I got... But, uh... Since you believe that the supporters of a movement, their political values, um, and what I'm trying to say is that if even one member, if, if one supporter of something is racist, then that entire thing itself is racist. And since Tommy supports you even even ironically that means you and your backwards movement is racist Tommy Robinson founder of the English Defence League to promote my Nico Defence League merchant who left the organisation and is not racist for his release in front of thousands of people and here's how I'm going to do it attend the great British Brexit march which Tommy Robinson is rumoured to be speaking in as an old man with a wheelchair we're en route to the march we've got this wheelchair here I yeah, just... reckon I should just put on the mask right and see what happens wear an old man mask a cap which still has a security tag on it gloves coat and a wheelchair but thanks to the U why are you wearing something that still has a security tag on it are you stealing the driver, I'm pretty confident it was believable. This is a nightmare, man. You are seven, eight years, man. <laughs> I had George there with me behind the camera. How are you feeling about this? How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling energised. I'm feeling old. And I'm ready to take back our streets. Not really energised. You're in a wheelchair. Shut up, George, you pussy. And my good friend Matt was going to be pushing me around. <laughs> All right, Matthew, please push me. Let's go. Then finally arrive at the march and find out where Mr. Tommy Robinson would be. It was time to blend in. Please like this video. You're possibly the first leftist to call Tommy by Tommy Robinson rather than Tommy Robinson or his real name is Stephen Yaxley Lennon because everyone seems to do that in the left for some reason. And subscribe right now if you're ready for this troll. Doing God's work. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Mate, look out yourself. Thank you, man. Cool. Friendly bunch. Good day. Thank you. Yeah, you should not. See, I've got no idea what's going on. Diversity of insults. Come on, this is the fourth video. <laughs> go round him. Go round him. He gets us through. Move. Move. I was enjoying myself getting as involved as I possibly could. Brexit! Now! I was just wondering if it's possible to say, what do we want Brexit? Of course you can, sir. Of course you can. What do we want? Brexit! When do we want it? Move. What do we want? Brexit! When do we want it? Move. Yes! Join the NDL! Thank you so much. Thank you. So, now I, I'm, I'm not surprised by this, but now you guys Brexit. But why? Like, what is so great about the EU that you feel that we shouldn't leave it? It was time to get educated, so I spoke to a man who seemed to know what he was talking about. Make it illegal to call immigrants immigrants. I uh, think by illegal. What he means is that your bunch don't like calling immigrants immigrants. 
it's uh, something else. I just probably I, I probably refugees, but I feel like there's there's another term for it that's like two words. I just do not remember it. Possibly asylum seekers, but I I don't know. So what they are, you gotta call them what they are, immigrants. Yeah, but they, you're not allowed to be able to say that. So then what are we even to call them? Thanks to this one here. Sorry, what did you say your name was again? Thanks to Anderson here, we know that we can't call immigrants immigrants anymore. Completely devastating news, so we all protested. We want out. We want out. It's not that we want to call them immigrants, it's just that it's there's nothing wrong with calling immigrants immigrants. Like, well, we're not really using it as an insult. You're treating it like it's the N-word. Just immigrant is the term used, and legal term, dictionary term, whatever, for a person who is seeking asylum in a different country. They had to flee their own country because mostly war. There we go. We had confirmation of Tommy Robinson's appearance. All of this is now worth it. Yes, sir, where are you from? What? Where are you from? I'm from uh, this country. Yeah, same here, same here. Good. Send them back. Send them back. Come here, come here, you big waffler. You big schmuck. Yeah, Let's get this big schmuck out. Okay. okay, I'll give him to you. But that march looks like there's got to be hundreds there. So less than 1% of you of the people that you're calling racist are racist and even then it's 10 it's not even racist because they're talking about immigrants they're not talking about a race in particular like any white immigrants he wants kicked out as well so i don't i don't think there is actually a, a word for nationality in particular you could say xenophobia but that's that's just prejudice in general so he is xenophobic, not necessarily racist. Just say, just say, join the NDL. Join the NDL. Oh, that's Tommy. That is, that's Tommy. Give me, give me Tommy. Give me Tommy. Yeah, yeah. Does it cost money? Yeah, three quid each, two for a fiver. I don't have that money. Can I have it? We have one. What? Friendly bunch. Joe, Gazer. Figure out how the camera works. Oh, you don't know how the camera works? Yeah, it does. Just get my grandson to do it for you. He's a nerd. I then found out it wasn't just. Now you've crossed the limit. I. Like, I. I identify as a nerd. I read comic books. I. Like sci-fi, like Star Wars and Doctor Who and all that. <laughs> Assassin's Creed is my favourite game series. So, do not use the word nerd as an insult again. Ever. Because it is our kind that gave you the entertainment you love so much. I bet you like games. Guess you made games. I bet you like the MCU. Guess who made the MCU possible? And so on. People marching on these streets. It's a good English dog. Thank you, sir. Oh, beautiful, beautiful wolf. That's a good... Speaking of, I've, I've heard about how... They've... Also, that sign is me clipping my nails. Um, they've recast... Rose... Uh, from Doctor Who. So, the recast, a uh, 40 year old white woman with a 19 year old black trans woman who will be 20 when the episode actually airs because it's for the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. Because for some reason they're making the 60th, the 60th, 60th 
anniversary bigger than the 50th. Anyway. Um, I don't have a problem with it as long as it makes sense. Like, Russell has said that it, you'll just have to wait and see how it makes sense, and I hope that it, it does end up making sense. Um, my two theories are that it's either going to be a multiverse situation, because that has happened in season two, or the Doctor has changed, or someone else has changed the timeline so that Jackie Tyler has sex with a black man and gives birth to Rose. Uh, as a mixed race child instead of whatever Rose's dad is called Pete I think as long as it's as long as it doesn't go from uh, you know the doctor sees Rose for the first time in uh, however many years you know, the, the last time that he saw her was David Tennant when he was tenth doctor, I don't, I don't want it to be like all the way up to the fourteenth doctor and be like, "Hey, it's Rose," despite the fact that she's a different race, different gender, uh, and everything like different age. Uh, it's it's Rose. I know who this person is somehow. I'm hoping that's not what happens. <laughs> 